I stumbled across this amazing mini drill press. It's incredible, and in this video, I'm going to try and drill a hole so tiny through the O on this dial on the watch face. Not only did I get the drill press itself, I got all these little drill bits from 0.1 of a millimeter right through to one millimeter. Now that's incredibly tiny, so if this thing can pull it off, it's going to be awesome. Just look how cute and small it is. It can fit on your kitchen bench. There it is beside a coffee machine, so you get a sense of scale, but it was great value and appears to be really well made. Now, what did I get in the box? It came packaged in this box really nice and tidily. It has a solid aluminium base. The main unit here, all ready to go, pretty much. An Allen key, chuck key as well. All the little drill bits. The main power module. So you control the speed, fast and slow and the main shaft. To put it together, we just slot that in there like that, use the Allen key to do it up tight. Grab the main drill unit, slide it over the main shaft, just like that. This locking mechanism, it arrived loose, so I used a two mil Allen key, which isn't supplied to undo this screw here. There's a little spring behind the, the rotating lever itself, so just carefully pull that out. Then I slid it onto the shaft, put the lever back on, just like that, lever on, spring in, replace the screw with the 2mm Allen key, Tighten it up so the adjustment works just how you like it. It really is quite simple. So you can rotate it down. It's nice and loose. Slide it to the height you want. And then rotate the lever back to lock it in position. Just like that. So easy. Next, we grab the power module. Plug it in just like that and then plug it into the wall. Now you're probably wondering what am I going to use such a small drill press for, but it doesn't really matter. It's so awesome that you just want it anyway. So I'm going to see how it drills. I've grabbed the drill bits that came with it. I'm going to test it out. So open up the case and we'll choose a drill bit. So I'm going to go for, hmm, let's see. It goes from 0.1 to 1 millimeter, so I'm going to go on one of the bigger ones here. Let's do 0 0.8 millimeters. I'm going to test it out drilling some aluminium to see if it can drill a nice and small hole. Use the chuck key here to tighten it up. I rotate it round and tighten it up on every single hole so it's nice and even inside the chuck. I don't want that thing flying out. Now, don't forget to use safety glasses because these drill bits are so small that if it pings off and snaps, you don't want that going anywhere near your eye. Make sure it's nice and tight. The drill bits are really good because they come on a shank and it fits in the chuck nicely. It really is so simple to adjust the height on this. You just loosen the lever slide it to where you want, get it to the right height, and then tighten it up with the red lever. Now let's start this thing, turn on the power, use the little knob on the control box to get the speed where you want it. There's a variable speed drive, so you can get it nice and fast. Let's adjust it. We'll grab the little workpiece that I'm going to drill a hole in. This happens to be a watch movement holder. It's made of aluminium, so I'm just going to see if I can drill a hole in here. If you want to build your own custom watch, automatic watch, then check out my channel, subscribe and watch some of the other videos, and, and you could end up with an awesome watch for yourself that you've done yourself. I have a bunch of them now, and I absolutely love them. Let's see it drilling this hole. It's spinning. It looks like it's wobbling a little bit, but it goes into the aluminium with ease. 
I just gently pull on the down handle and it drills down. You can see the burr coming off. How good is that? Remember, that is only 0.8 of a millimetre, so that is a tiny, tiny hole. And it can go right down to 0.1 of a millimetre, so that is incredibly small. Here I am just performing a quick check using my calipers. I want to make sure that it is actually 0.8 of a millimetre. Yep, it is. How good is that? Now you can see it's driven by a little rubber band or belt drive. So there's no gears or backlash. Just um, nice smooth movement on the spindle, which is what you want. Now I bought this from AliExpress and I've put a link in the description. So if you want to get your own, please check it out. Also, I'll post some discount codes from time to time. So check out those in the description as well. And you can get your own. You won't regret it. It's so much fun. And use it for all your miniature hobby needs. Now you can hear the drill running and it's variable speed drive. It's so good from slow to fast, depending on what you're drilling. The spindle can uh, move up and down with 15 millimeters of play. So more than enough room to get your workpiece under there. You've got 80 mil space between your workpiece and the base. And overall it's about 190 or just under 200 millimeters tall. So it's very, very compact. Now let's have a look. This is a watch face. I want to see if I can drill a tiny hole in here. So what size hole do you think I should use? I've gone for the blue one, which is only half a millimeter. That is incredibly small. And I'm going to fit it in between the zero on the watch face here. See how it goes. So put it in, tighten up the chuck, and we're almost ready to go. Now we're ready to go here, tighten it up. I've got a little holder here for the watch dial itself, so I can get it started. And try and line it up. You can see I actually had a faux pas with my safety goggles on. I couldn't line it up very well. I think I need like a magnifying glass or something to try and hone in on my skills. But never mind. Here I am drilling a hole through the O. It's doing it with ease. If you had a precision positioning device like this one here, you can get them from AliExpress as well. Also a link in the description. Then I'll be able to really hone in on my accurate positioning for holes. So maybe that's the next thing I'll buy and test. But this has been really fun drilling these holes. Blow away the, the swarf. And let's have a look at this hole. right in between the zero. How good. Now if you have a look at the chuck, the chuck actually goes quite small so you can use a really small drill bit if you need, but the shank on the one supplied is, is about three millimeters so it's, it fits in really nicely and it's all you need. Now let's try out one of the even smaller drill bits. This is 0 0.3 millimeters, 300 microns. It's, it's tiny, absolutely tiny. It's drilling through this plastic with ease so much so that you can hardly even tell there's a hole there. Be careful with your hands, you don't want to end up drilling through your skin. And of course, wear safety glasses so that if you accidentally have a drill bit snap or some swarf fly at you, then it's not going to go in your eye. Let's take a closer look at these drill bits. There's one millimetre there. 0 0.9, 0 0.8, 0 0.7, 0 0.6, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.3, 0 0.1, tiny. This thing is awesome. I can't believe the finds that you can get on AliExpress. Go and check them out for yourself. And again, check out my links and my discount codes if you want to get one yourself. But I really appreciate you for watching. If you've got to this point, then thank you very much. And please check out my other videos. Like this video if you found it valuable. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.